In this video, I will give you a quick explanation of what is the provider and how to use it. First, we will need to create a provider. Let's call it the pizza provider. The next thing is you need to activate the provider, otherwise it will not work. And finally, when you need the data, you can just call the provider. And as soon as you call the provider, this is what happens. You will have access to all the data related to the pizza provider. Now we will apply the same logic but with code. We start by creating a class pizza provider that extends the change notifier. For this one, the data will be a int number of pizza. We then create a constructor to initialize the value at zero. And you can also create function inside the provider to change the data. We will create a function called the change number of pizza. This function will receive a new value and we will say that the number of pizza is now equal to the new value. And because we want to see the screen change with the new value, we use the notify listener. This one is accessible only because we extend the change notifier. To activate this one, we create a multi provider and inside the list of providers, you add a change notifier provider. This one will have a create argument. You then use the context to return the provider you have created. In this case, it's the pizza provider. And now the provider is activated. I added the provider before the material app. Just make sure that you activate the provider before you use it. To use the data, you can say provider.ofContext and inside you put which provider you need. You need to tell which provider you want because you could have multiple different providers. After all this, you just say dot number of pizza and you have the information. The next step will be to change the data. For this, you use the same logic provider.ofContext. Inside, you put the provider you want to use, but this time you need to say listen to false. Because you don't want to listen to the data, you want to change it and if you don't add it it will not work with all this you can say dot change number of pizza and put the new value inside in this situation every time we press the elevated button we will see the number of pizza going up by one 